one. This is uh, Ani with Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. It's not a cooking video, but the fifth episode on my journey with ESRD. I have just arrived at Norton's Emergency Room for severe abdominal pain. Okay, so I'm in the uh, emergency room and in one of the stalls, as I call it, a severe abdominal pain. They tried to flush the catheter on Monday at the dialysis center and it wouldn't flush. So there's an obstruction. So I got word from the doc surgeon's office yesterday that they're going to have to go back in. Well, but what happened now is that I'm experiencing severe pain at the port site which could be an indication of an infection or just the fact that there's an obstruction. So I'm here to figure out what it is. All I know is I'm in severe pain. It just keeps getting worse. I started yesterday morning when I went to get out of bed and it just got progressively worse throughout the day. So that's how it's stood behind me. I'll keep you all posted. Well, here I am. They went ahead and took me back for a CT scan. Here it's all sticking up. And uh, they gave me a little bit of pain medicine, some fentanyl, which is fast acting, but it doesn't last long, really. But. I'm hooked up, I got my IV in, and I'm comfortable right now, no more pain for the moment. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you all an update on what's going on. The doctor is here in the hospital today, so that's good, the surgeon that initially put the placement in. The PV catheter in, so Dr. Katie is here. But anyway, I'll keep you all posted. I'm gonna let you know as things develop. Again, my name is Ani, and I am recording my journey uh, with the PV catheter. Well, actually, with end stage renal disease. So that if anyone coming up on this. Uh, these procedures, you'll know what to expect. Alright, talk to you in a minute. Okay, folks, well, it seems that uh, they decided to go back in, and so I'll be in surgery here shortly. And they're going to do this all over again. Yep. Oh, what fun. Alright, I'll keep you posted. Hey everyone, this is me out of surgery and you see that everything went well. So I'm in recovery, I'm getting ready to go to my room. I'll be here overnight. I'll probably dialyze here today. And um, well, just I still haven't gotten a report back as far as how the surgery went and what they found, if anything that was causing the uh, the tube not to flush but as soon as I know I'll let you guys know so I'll talk to you later I'll keep you posted hey guys so I finally made it to my room pain is minimal at the moment uh, still in the anesthesia and some pain meds, so, but getting ready to get my first meal since about 8 o'clock last night where I had a snack of some grapes and pretzel sticks. So I've had so far some coffee and two vanilla pudding cups. They were nice ice cold for my throat. That seems to be the hardest thing right now is my throat. For when they 
to suck too down for anesthesia. But other than that, I'm doing well. And uh, I still don't have the post-op report as far as what they found when they went in and what the results were. But as soon as I do, I'll let you all know. Well, folks, I'm getting ready to be dialyzed at the hospital. Isn't this a fancy machine? It's a portable one, so it has everything where the waste goes into and all the water. Amazing. Technology. Amazing. So I'm getting ready to dialyze. They just have to take off 1K. So that's the only thing I've gained in three days. It's just one. 1. 1.0 kilos, which is 2.2 pounds of waste. But isn't that amazing? Yeah. Alright. Well, this is the next step. I should be able to go home tomorrow and we shall see. Alright, well folks, here's the PD dialysis uh, equipment and they're heating up the solution inside the drawer right now before they start connected and to see if uh, the catheter will flush. Hopefully it will. Will this be a treatment also just to flush? Um, he just wants to see if it's going to work. He's okay, just going to put a little flush. bit in and then he's going to, and then I'll let it sit for two hours and then I'll drain it to make sure that it's working correctly. Oh, okay. Yep. That's so it. that's cool. Mm -hmm. So we okay. shall see, guys. I'll bring you back. My phone is uh, on very low battery, so I'll do what I can. I may just have to take a picture once they do uh, the procedure. All right, see you then. Hey, guys. It's Ani with uh, Creative Cooking. Well, you know who I am. Anyway, I'm still at the hospital, and they actually went ahead and used a catheter. They they filled it up, and so I'm actually dialyzing. Excuse me, using the PD catheter, so it's working. They fixed it, and it's working. Um, evidently, it was scar tissue from previous surgeries that had wrapped itself around the tube and was squeezing it. That's why it didn't work. So there was no infection or anything. Thank God for that. It was just that, and that's what was causing the pain. So they fixed it. They pulled it out. They cut away all the scar tissue. They pulled out the tube. They wiped it clean. They, you know, flushed it out, and then they put it back in. Um, I've got the fluid inside, and now uh, i got to wait two hours, and then they'll drain it. So that's actually considered a dialyze, a treatment, and that's awesome. It's a short treatment, but a treatment nonetheless. So I'm feeling okay. I'm still on pain medication. Um, when the pain medication wears off, it is severe pain. So um, I'll be going home with a, a, a script. Uh, for pain medication. Um, hopefully it won't last too much longer and I'll be walking around and cooking again. <laughs> but um, I plan on going to my treatment tomorrow as well at the dialysis center. Hopefully this has catapulted me into the training class since I've already had a treatment. And then I'll be home soon and I won't have to go to the center anymore. So that's good news. You know everything Always, there's always a good reason. God is good. Trust Him fully. But anyway, I just want to give you an update. I'll talk to y'all soon. Hey guys. Well, here I am in dialysis. Um, it's been a week since I've been released from the hospital. And they tried to dialyze me uh, using my PD on Monday. <clears throat> this past Monday, it's Wednesday now the ninth, and it was unsuccessful, um, but they said it was probably because of constipation due to the anesthesia of the surgery, and uh, so they told me to go ahead and get some Dokilax, <laughs> so I did, and 
clear that out. So hopefully today when they go in, they'll be able to dialyze me using the, the PD catheter. I hope so because I really want to get this training out the way and not have to come out here anymore. You know, it's getting really cold out and it's hard. It's hard to, you know, get the energy to get dressed and come out in this weather and, and drive and you barely have the energy to just to do the basics when you have this disease sometimes. Sometimes you get a burst of energy and but most days you don't, especially after dialysis. You're just like plumb, just drained, completely drained, no energy. I mean, your mind is going, you want to do all these things, but your body is just doesn't have the energy for it. Physically, really, doesn't have the energy for it. <clears throat> so it's difficult. Here I go, I got to go back.